you may have already seen, DeepSeek is really shaking up the world of AI. It's a highly competitive open source model that was built at a fraction of the cost of OpenAI's ChatGPT4 and O1 models, and it's completely free. But in this video, I'm gonna cover why you should be running DeepSeek locally instead of on a web app. I'm gonna show you how to set it up on your machine step by step. And then I'll give you a couple free tools that I've used to upgrade the UI and interact with the model a bit better. Let's get started. I'm sure you've seen all over social media that you can actually go to DeepSeek's website, click the start now button, and then start using the R1 model for free. Now it's very similar to ChatGBT. You can just type in a prompt and it's gonna think for a while and then come up with an output. It is similar to ChatGBT, but let's go over why you should actually be running this locally. The browser version is great, but running it locally on your machine has major advantages. First of which is privacy and control. Your data is gonna stay on your computer, not go to external servers. When you use a web app like DeepSeek or even ChatGBT or Twitter, your queries are processed on that company's servers, meaning you have much less control of your data and you don't know exactly where it's gone. Even though in today's day and age, your data is likely everywhere, I like to try and take precautions where I can. Second reason is low latency. Having the model on your own machine means that when web apps are experiencing long wait times, or even like we've seen in the last few days, their website is just straight up crashed, you won't face these issues because you're running the model on-prem. And lastly, super useful, but you can run this model locally, meaning you don't need internet. So let's actually get started. So first you're gonna be going to a website called Olama. Now this website makes it easy to host LLMs like DeepSeek on your own computer. So what we're gonna do is hit the download button and you're gonna choose your operating system, either Windows, Linux, or Mac. For me, it's Mac. I'm just gonna download it and then follow the instructions so I can download it to my desktop. I'm just gonna follow these prompts here, move to applications. So what you're gonna find is it's gonna come up to welcome with Olama. You're gonna hit next and then hit install. Type in your password and you should be all set up to go. So what we're gonna do here is copy this command here and run it in our terminal. And if you don't know where to find it, don't worry. I'll leave a link to this project in the description. Awesome. So when you input this into your terminal, just copy and paste it and then hit enter, you should see Olama version 0.5.7. See that things are going correctly and we can go on to the next step. So now we have Olama, but we don't have DeepSeek yet. So what we're gonna do is actually go to our browser and head to Olama library. Now this is a place where you can find a lot of open source models here. You notice that if you type in something like ChatGPT, you won't actually find it in here because ChatGPT is not open source. But for this case, we're gonna type in DeepSeek one and we're gonna click through. Now here you'll notice that there's actually seven different models. There's the flagship model that's competitive with O1. That's the one you've been seeing all over social media. And there is six distilled models, each slightly different. So if you click into here, you'll find there's 1.5B, 7B, 8B, and so on. Now each of them require different amounts of storage. They also require different amounts of VRAM to run. So we're just gonna run the simple model here. If you have about eight gigabytes of RAM on your laptop, you should be able to run this model. I think 16 gigabytes of RAM means that you should be fine with 7B and potentially 8B, but it's good to double check. In case you're wondering what 1.5B, 7B means, B actually stands for billions of parameters. Think of these parameters as like key decision makers within the model. They help recognize patterns, analyze data, and improve reasoning. So we're just gonna go with 1.5B, and then what we're gonna do is copy this command here. Once we've done that, we're gonna open up our terminal again, paste it in, and then hit enter. Now you see, Alarm is already installed for me. So I can just type in hello, like I normally would on the browser version. Now in here, there's this think section, but it's blank because this was actually a really simple query. But what we're gonna do is add in some math. Now in here, you can see now it's actually thinking. It's adding some reasoning in there. And you'll see the final answer is in this weird format here. It's a bit weird. It says box 13. And we know that looking at this equation, you got 16 divided by four which is four, and then you have plus nine, which is 13. So the answer is correct, but it looks a bit strange. Now let's make this a better experience and use a tool that we can integrate our model into to make this a better UI. So there's tons of free tools out there. I'm gonna use this one here, Chatbox AI. The reason I like it is because it's free and super easy to use. All you gotta do is hit this free download button. So I'm just gonna hit Apple Silicon here and I'm gonna download it. Now, just follow the prompts again like you normally would and you should be good in a few minutes. Awesome, so Chatbox is good for me now. All I gotta do is go to the settings here. Now, you'll see that I've already done this, but what you wanna go up to is this model provider here and that's gonna choose the API that you connect to. And since we're running on Alama, that's hosting our DeepSeek model, we're gonna click Olama API. Now again, you can choose your model. We went with the 1.5B model, but maybe you downloaded the 7B model. 
you can choose that one. And then there's something interesting here called temperature. Temperature controls the randomness of an LLM's output. Something like a temperature of two is a bit more creative and you have unpredictable responses. However, something like zero is much more focused and gives more logical responses. I'd suggest having a really good play around with this as it's super interesting. So what I'm gonna do now is actually go into my terminal and just copy and paste that math equation into here just to see what the reasoning looks like. So now you can see it's actually thinking here and it's a lot better to look at. It looks more like what we're used to with ChatGPT and DeepSeek. And let's see, does it give the right answer? Going through the steps, going through the reasoning. And it does, it gives us the final answer of 13. And this is obviously one of the lower base models here. Models with more parameters you expect to be more accurate, but this one is on the job in this case. And what I would recommend is actually doing this project where I got the code from it's a free project that I use to learn DeepSeek. It runs through how to set it up and it goes into more detail on comparisons versus ChatGPT, on token efficiency. Plus at the end, it was really cool. You get a hands-on documentation that you can actually either add to your own portfolio or share on LinkedIn. I'll show you the portfolio one, it's pretty cool. Save the documentation and then you go to your portfolio and you can actually click into this and it generates this whole document for you. Now you can share that on LinkedIn, as I said, or Facebook or X, um, but you can also share this portfolio with recruiters. I think it's a really good way of showing recruiters and your friends that you're staying up to date with trends in AI. AI is just moving so quick at the moment. You can find that project or others in the description below. And make sure to give us a follow because it really helps the channel. And let us know what you wanna see more of in the comments.